So it's the return of the etch -a sketch the flip dot etch -a sketch It's been with Ash for a little while, who has been working over there on the internet with Caustic, is that right? Yep. And um, working on it to get it. So when, when it's initially plugged in, it will boot up to a state of boot. If I can plug it, unplug it and plug it back in. <laughs> We've also been optimizing the code to make it run a little bit more smoothly. That's and really we've added a little image to it. So when it boots up, it boots up to an image. And it still has its functionality as an extra sketch. Yeah. Next thing we need to do is get the encoders plugged in. Plug it on the top. So yeah, you've been bouncing back and forth. So what's the what's the story? Since you, you took it away a couple of weeks ago, wasn't it? You You've been chatting with Caustic over the internet about... So he's been, he made the bulk of the code and I've been helping him implement it actually onto the flip dot because him not having the physical display with him, he wasn't able to get it fully optimised. We've been able to he get it functional with the buttons because when he gave it back it didn't work with the buttons. It now has a serial console so it can be interfaced if needs be. Oh no, I missed the guitar. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, so it's got a serial interface now, and then it's not quite done because Caustic's doing something Caustic's, else, isn't he? Caustic's now trying to in, implement it with the Adafruit graphics library so that when it comes down, it can also come across and it can it can know the location of everything at all times. So it went rather than it coming down, and when you go across, it's starting back up at the top, it will go down and it will come across like an actual lecture sketch. Mm. As at the moment, it's still, when you go, helps if I press the right button. Mm -hmm. It's still, again, and then it, when you come across, it starts back at the top. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the one I sent to um, Kids Invent Stuff, I cut the, um, there was a re there's a reset pin on the binary counters, and if you remove that reset pin, it won't go back to zero. So, so he's going gonna to make uh, a new version of the code that, that knows where it's at at all times, so that it can come back to the row it, row it was on when you go across. Yeah, that'd be awesome. So yeah, what we're gonna do is we're gonna swatch these with encoder buttons that are gonna be in this, which is the nice see-through case. It's the see-through case that is very similar to that case actually. And then this will go onto the front of it and we'll screw it onto the tops and just uh, bolt it to the wall and it's, it'll be lovely. So yeah, thanks a lot, Ash. That's right. Where can, where can they find, have, have you been chatting about it on the Discord, the Look Mum No Computer Discord or um, anything like that? Not entirely, but mainly um, been messaging back and forth directly with Corsic, but we've also, I've also put it up on GitHub. Oh, on GitHub. So yeah, the link to that GitHub link is below. So if you want to check out Ash's stuff and all that, then check it out there. All right, cheers. <laughs>